Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Last time we got the... Well, we didn't actually get anything. We just made some progress. We opened up all the things and now we are at the very base bottom of the Torvus Depths. If that's how you say that correctly. <clears throat> right here we'll have some of these guys. We can grab some dark ammo, light ammo. Just grab some ammo in general that we need. Go ahead and grab a little bit more dark ammo. Since that's what we've been primarily using. Uh, but we don't really need anything else there, so... Maybe some health, which we got, so that's pretty good. So, we're gonna slowly make our way down to the depths of hell. A watery hell. We're gonna fall all the way to the bottom here. And we're not going to be able to get back up. But we can jump on this and not land on it. So we need to go right through, not there, but the room on the far side. We can't see, we can't move. But all of that is about to change. Because right here, we have a backpack. So we got the gravity boost. So no, there's no gravity suit, but there's an expansion. It's basically the gravity suit, except we also get to jet rocket up. So on top of the double jump, we also have an extra jump, extra hover jump. So that's pretty nice. Now we can, oh wait, there's a cutscene. Oh no. <clears throat> The safe is opening up. What's in there? Oh, a dark alpha blog. At least I believe it's a dark alpha blog. No, just an alpha blog. Alright, so we want to dark beam him probably since he's... Oh, he's the, uh, just a normal one. He's not dark. Come on. You gotta piss him off enough to make him want to come after you. There we go. Okay, that didn't do too much damage. I'll wait and do a super missile. Come on, buddy. Come on, now. Charge me. There we go. Now he'll come after us. He should, anyways. And I didn't shoot that in time. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay, that really didn't do anything either. I guess it's safer just to use dark ammo. Because um, it comes out much faster than it would normally. Or than, than anything else does. Just piss them off. Okay, I thought I was on dark ammo there. Come on, there. I don't really know any specific way to deal with this guy besides the way I'm doing it right now. I mean, really, there isn't any other special way that I know of. We can try line ammo, see if that does any more damage. Considering it homes in. Come on. You aren't gonna get pissed off yet? There you go. Okay, that doesn't make a difference. Okay, that was a good hit. I think we're just pissing him off at this point. And that was a waste. Come on, now. Nah. Okay, we got a charge shot off there. But we're gonna die if I keep taking damage like this.
Yeah, we're gonna die if I don't take more caution. Okay, Dark Burst should kill him. I always have such a hard time with this guy. There we go. That was it. I always have such a hard time with him. Not that hard of a time, but a hard enough time. It normally just takes a long time to get him. I don't generally take that much damage. But, oh well. So, keep in mind, when we get the equipment to use this rail, we will be coming back here um, to grab a certain power-up now. I would imagine there's a way to sequence break this in the original version, but I'm pretty sure they patched it in the Wii version. But there should be... I would like to imagine there's a way to sequence break this, because you get all the way just up there. Like, you just need a tiny boost. Like, possibly landing up on top of these or something. But... I don't think I can do it, yeah. So anyways, we'll, be coming, we'll have to backtrack much, much later on in the game and go there. Because there's a power-up there that we'll need. Actually, another boss and a power-up. That's much later down the road. Not anytime soon. So now we can make our way out of here and head back up top. We are basically done with the depths for the moment. Also, we don't need much ammo. We just need health and such. I'll, I'll go ahead and get some ammo. There we go, that should top everything off. Well, it didn't top off the dark ammo very much, but that's all good. So yeah, we got the gravity boost. And that's going to make this much easier, because now we can actually move around underwater. And we can see underwater. So for now, though, um, we're... Well, we're not really done. We still have more to do. Um... But we'll go ahead and go up top and save. Just to grab some extra health and whatnot. Because we're going to need it. Considering I took so much damage during that boss fight. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and save. I mean, there's not, I don't doubt it'll hurt anything. I think it'll hurt is if uh, I lose all my progress that I've made. Like, I have to re-record it, but that's why I have a backup save file copied over, so if that happens, I'll just go back to the other save file. And use this as a practice one, and just switch back and forth. But I shouldn't have any issues, so... Anyways, we need to go back down into the depths. And we want to go through the... one that was a normal door, which is a secret door. The original, actually. No. No, I don't think so. Let me see. Let me see which one we want to go through. Gathering Hall. Because we don't want to go... Yeah, I think I think this is going to be the right one. This should be the right door. If not, then we'll go back. But it should be the right one. All these rooms interconnect underground anyways. Okay, yeah, it's the right room. So, first let's get rid of these guys. Oh. Oh yeah, now we have Dark Blogs. But thankfully I got rid of one in time, so we don't have to deal with it very much. They're so pretty weak though, just because they're dark, I need to scan them, but just because they're dark doesn't mean they're not immune to anything. Also, there's a emerald scan that I missed, so you you, you don't want to miss that if I did. Um, what we want to do, I believe, is go back here. I believe we need to make our way up there. I just have to remember how. Possibly. Then again, maybe not. I know we go through here at some point, but maybe I've been just forgetting. Oh, okay, so. Let's decide which way we want to go first. Um, gathering Hall. I think we need to go to the Catacombs. Yeah, we want to go to the Catacombs. So we want to go to this side, I believe. Let me double check the direction. Yeah, alright, so we're gonna go this way, I believe. I didn't run through this far ahead on the practice file. Um, at least in the past, you know, couple days. So, I'm just going off of memory for the moment. Which, you know, 
isn't too inaccurate, but I don't want to get stuck for a moment. Also, now we can do this puzzle. So, yeah, we're going the right way. I'm going to bomb this. And that'll activate this. Well, not this, but one of these. We're going to be doing some bomb jumping. Okay, well, I didn't do that right. There we go. And as you can see, there's our energy tank. Okay, I missed that. There we go. You just gotta get the timing just right, and it's a little bit difficult sometimes. But, that's pretty much it. We just had to go through that little quick tidbit and grab another energy tank. We have not grabbed an energy tank in quite a while, actually. So, it's pretty convenient. Uh, there's an emerald scan up there. Now that we can actually see, and there's grandstrokes in here, unsurprisingly. So now that we have the gravity suit, or gravity boost, we can grab this up here. And bomb it. <coughs> that'll lower that portal. Or not portal, that'll lower that shield of sorts. Um, and I'm aware that we're getting near the time, time limit for an episode, but... Uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to just cut the other one short. I don't like cutting episodes short, really. I'd rather them be closer to 20, you know, 20 minutes long instead of just 15 or so. If it means that I have to cut it short to like 10 to 12 minutes. All right, there we go. We should be hitting a safe station eventually, anyways. Because, like I said, they space them out like every 15 to 20 minutes of gameplay. The, you know. In, in most cases, anyways. Not in all cases. Alright, so in here... Um, there's actually an upper part to this room, I think. No. Okay, I'm thinking of something else. Well, anyways. These are dark Grenchlers. Um, they're the same thing, but they're stronger, so... Don't fight them, because we don't need to. We need to go this way. And I think this is another puzzle for a missile expansion. If I remember correctly. I think, possibly. I think there's another missile expansion in here somewhere, but I don't know. I may be thinking of a different room or different spot. Uh, okay, dark door. Alright, so yeah, yeah, above us is uh, a big, a big lumbering beast. That looks like a big Grunchler. Actually, I think I can stand on top of this. Yeah, we can we can jump through this. Okay, I don't know why this is... Oh, what is that, made of something? Oh. Yeah, I guess we can bomb that. That's why we can jump through it. Well, we can't clip through. I don't think. It'd be neat if we could. But I'm pretty sure we can't. But anyways, there's a boss up there that we'll be fighting in a little while. For now, though, we don't have anything to do with him. We need to make our way through here. We just keep going along, get to the other side of things, and uh, we'll make be making our way up top there to the dark dimension. Also, right here. Once we hop through here. Hop through. Well, we're not gonna go that far down. There we go. Got it. Yeah, you can't see it, but it's hidden right there. You can hear that it's there, though, if you listen closely. So, there we go. We grabbed that. And now we've looped around. We can deactivate this. And now we have some platforms that have been activated. Now, this episode's gonna be a little bit longer, if anything, or we'll just cut it in half. Now that we have the dark beam out, we can take care of these guys. Oh, actually, these are just dark pirates. They're standard dark pirate troopers. Yeah. Very easy. The charge light shot gets rid of them. So these platforms will move in and out. They don't stay still. Uh, but they allow us to get up where we need to go. Also, that laser's still active in the dark region. So that's, that's neat. Let's see. Stop this. 
or op stop this, open this. And now we have, I think we scanned these already. Yeah, we've already scanned these before. We should be coming up on a save station here soon. Right in this next room, I think, actually. Yeah, okay, so we need to... I think we have to go down and launch ourselves up. Yeah, we have to go down and launch ourselves up. Like we're doing the light dimension, pretty much. That's gonna post way up top, but the same save station is still there from the previous light area. So, yeah, it's about 20 minutes long. Not a big deal, so. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, be sure to leave a comment down below. Tell me how much you hate this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and subscribe to become a toddy brother. Take it easy and peace out.